Hey there, this is Kevin from Inline4 Gaming. This is our episode 8 of our Tacopolis 2 series. Oh, well, my Tacopolis 2 series on our channel. Um, as you can see today, we got some immersive engineering machine made up. And as well as an uh, induction smelter from Thermal. To work towards getting us some flint. Anyways, uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. And we will see you in there. All right, so in between episodes, I was trying to figure out what was going on with the export cables for the jumbo furnaces, and I could not for the life of me figure it out. So they're turned off right now. I do have 107 basic technium. Uh, we do have some sources built up a little bit. Resources, I mean. Um, we're still getting some more coal coke, which is nice. And we're getting some treated wood whenever we get more coal coming in. So the process for this is very slow because for every five coal ore, which is uh, 20... Uh, um, it's quite a bit just to get one coal. There it goes. So anyways, we are going to look into um, thermal today. And... Because thermal is going to help with, first of all, smelting down stone or stone into smooth stone, doing the uh, the bronze, I believe it is. But before we get into that, we need to first get through uh, getting into silver and gold. And then after that, we'll get into thermal. But thermal needs electrum, which is silver and gold. So let's get into that. Um, so, yeah, it was kind of unfortunate, but we do have some. I did refill up our advanced technium back to 16 in between episodes. So, yeah. And I think once we get into, if I could zip down, um, once we get into uh, thermal, we'll redo the setup for making basic technium it should only take up one corner i i do believe because everything can now be thrown into like induction smelters and oh and uh and smelt and uh elect I'm trying to remember the name anyways you know what i'm talking about so yeah cool all right so let's first of all Unlock silver and gold. I already had some constantan blocks, some advanced technium, and there we go. So let's unlock silver and gold. And there we go. Perfect. So the first thing we're going to do, like always, is make sure coal and lapis are disabled. These should never change once I disable them. And I want gold and silver. I'm going to disable redstone. And disable nickel perfect just to be safe um, and then I'm gonna take this over here go boom 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 use my wand and boom all right take out my prospectors and there we go perfect all kinds of gold and silver fragments and we'll just cool and let's make 36 throw that away gold ore no uh, I don't like how that recipe doesn't automatically there we go so I don't know why this won't let me take out half a stack, but that's okay. I think next time, oh, whatever. There. Thing is, is that we're going to have to smelt it down anyways, right? And what I can do is actually keep 36 of that. 
and then throw gold in here and the rest of the gold in there. Ah, didn't catch it in time. That's okay. Take the gold. Make some nuggets. Boom. And there we go. Perfect. So that's already in the system. And we'll do the same thing to silver ore. So it's already uh, done. So let's go boom, boom. Perfect. So we got that. Uh, so let's throw up in this chest. We only need 36 of that. Melt it down. There we go. And throw this guy up in here. Perfect. So now we each we have one of each of those already dedicated on our drawer wall. So we'll put these ones over here. Um should be alright. Let's get out some torches though, make sure this stays lit up. Alright. And we will use that and that. We're going to trim off actually three sides of this. As this requires tier five support frames. So we're going to put a little bit of a pause in our... Oh, that did not need to go. There we go. And we're going to use, put silver right here. So, oh, oh, that's tier five already. Boom. All right. And the first thing we're going to do is throw away these guys because we don't need um, we don't need them. So there's one. And there's two. Perfect. So, yeah, we didn't really need a whole lot extra. But it was good to have anyways. Alright, so we'll do gold first. There we go. And we will put down the miner as I collect all these resources. right there with a key perfect right on and then we'll use oh I didn't grab any redstone blocks but I did yeah. there we go perfect oh I must have uh anyways I must have accidentally grabbed those or threw those away. Okay, and boom. Perfect. 90. All right, so what we'll do is I'll throw a piece of tin right there. Um, I'll probably feed it down and over. Cool. All right, so we'll do that Oop. let me go and the cool just like that perfect and next is silver Throw down some redstone, or just a redstone. Put in a miner and a drawer. We're gonna lock that drawer. Throw that there. And just like that. And we want to do do perfect. Like that, perfect. So now we have gold and silver coming in.
right on. What we can do is that, that, that. Perfect. Look at that. Gold and silver are officially automated. So we'll throw all this back into here for now. And so, as you can see, we got six more tech bucks, some gold and silver. Right on. We should be close. Oh, we need to make some electrum. And we need to make a tier six support frame. So what we, we can do right now is make the tier six because we do have a gold ingot in there. Perfect. Cool. Don't need it quite yet, but we'll take the tech buck and then we need to get make some electrum. To make electrum, you just need some gold, and silver, make electrum. And the thing is, is for thermal series, you need four blocks of electrum. So you need 36. So you need 18 gold, which I won't make more. Wait, four times nine. Yeah. 18 gold. I guess we could just go on here and do silver. Oh, look at that. Just like that. Perfect. Now well, let's take that away. Gold, silver. Throw this back into here. Take my braid. Bunch, bunch, bunch. Perfect. So, yeah, it was kind of unfortunate. I did look. I looked online yesterday. I I did all that stuff, and I just could not find out the reason why the top loading for the jumbo furnaces would not, um, would not work for for the stock upgrades i have no idea still completely if you guys know please leave a comment i would very much appreciate it it was very frustrating let's just put it like that all right we can actually do that because we have another drawer for treated wood up there so yeah i might have to do a base redesign I'm liking this floor. I'm not liking this floor, but I think having all the miners here are is a good idea. Take those. I'm trying to keep on top of growing some sugarcane because of uh, paper. So we might set up an automated uh, way of doing it. Um, okay. So we have 36. That should get us that completed. Three more. Might put on another comp. Do I have another compact and drawer? Yes, I do. Perfect. Throw the key into this hand. Perfect. And then we will throw just like that. And now we have Electrum in our setup. So, yeah. Not. Not a great way of ending the episode, and I apologize for that. But you know, like, what am I? What else am I supposed to do? It's very unfortunate. All right, so you're still just slowly cooking away. I think the best bet is to automate the resources that we already need with like uh, pulverizers and, and furnaces, smelters, or whatever they're called for for uh, thermal. Induction smelters for stuff like Electrum, Constantan, Inbar, stuff like that. And you can use induction smelters as well for, uh, for, I think it's steel. So we'll, we'll look into that. Look at that. Look at that resource production. Wow. This sucks though. Cause like, like really, if you guys don't remember to make one iron ingot, in the jumbo furnace, it takes five iron ore. And one ore comes in every 
90 ticks. So that's four and a half seconds. So we're for to get one ingot, it's like half a minute. So there is much, much better ways of doing this and I'll probably a lot faster, but we might need to upgrade our power grid too. So is what it is. But yeah, we're kind of getting a backlog on stuff too. There we go, perfect. We can just throw that up in there and we have four electron blocks. And boom. So we will get into thermal. There we go. So for thermal, you can get magmatic dynamos. This is a great power source. We might I actually, I think we will get into that. Um, we also have induction smelters, which helps with signalum. And also we can use that as a use, 35 different recipes. So like it'll make the constantan, it'll make the signalum glass. We can make lumium. Uh, where else is it? What is that? Oh, dragon steel. Ooh, that's late game. Um, yeah, you can use. What is? Oh, mon mastery. Hmm, cool. A lot of different stuff. I believe induction smelters can be used to make uh, st steel, not that way. Let's see. Ah, here we go. Coal, coke, and an iron ingot. It's not the most efficient way of doing it, but it is quite a bit faster. But what I'm looking forward to is, let's say, trying to get a piece of coal. So instead of taking one every, uh, what is it, three, so that's... 270 ticks so that's 13 seconds 13 and a half seconds to get one piece of coal we can now use a pulverizer and with one coal we get coal or we get two coal as well as some sulfur and some gravel i don't want that i want to see what flint is because i want to make storage downgrades pulverizer okay so gravel into flint okay cool 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 perfect so first thing we're going to do what's this Oh, didn't submit the book. Oh, there it goes. Perfect. That was weird. So machine frame. So we need some machine frames. Um, and then we'll get into redstone flux coils and eventually pulverizers. So how many resources do we have? Look at this. This is what I'm talking about. So we have... Oh, thank you. Thank you. That was exactly what I wanted. I might turn this all off for right now too. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's a backup going on. Oh man. Eight, nine, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So eleven pulverizers. We're gonna need more power. That is for sure. Yes, we're going to need a lot more power. But we can use the second level for that. I have an idea. I might use another lava setup as well as some uh, magmatic dynamos. And then we'll also use, I believe Thermal has, yes, Thermal has, has uh, energy pipe flux ducts. Yes, yes. So flux ducts does transfer power. Yeah, so we do have ways of transferring power and I think I will use the flux ducts. We do need to get into lead, which is down here and it requires lead dust and four more advanced technium. So we will get into that, but the first thing we'll do is getting a machine frame. So we need an electrum gear, four silver, silver ingots, and four glass. And I think what we're gonna do, and I've been, do I have glass? No, not, not the glass I want. 
Cool. Throw some glass in there. Nice. Throw the glass right there. So we got some glass right there. Perfect. Um, so each of these requires a machine frame. So let's say we want to build 12. Um, we also need some flint. We're not building the pulverizer. The crusher, I mean. That is nuts. There is no... How do we get... Do we just take gravel? Is that what we do? I've been wondering this. Do we just like... Build out the gravel. It doesn't give me gravel. Or flint, I mean. Like, is there something I'm missing? Does anybody know? I really don't want to make a crusher. Like, to me, this seems kind of dumb. One second. Is there a way to look at the quests? Um, we might have to get into it. That's kind of a nuisance. All I need is one pulverizer to start. But we need two pieces of flint. I just don't know why this... Uh... All right. So anyways, let's take a rest. I might have to make flint. <laughs> or uh, crusher, I guess for the time being just to get our first couple pieces of flint so let's see what we need for that i probably won't go through the whole process of of getting it so we need light that that and that okay cool so anyways guys i will see you in a minute and i will work on getting this uh getting the crusher built just to get some flint all right see you in a few minutes all right and i'm back so i got everything uh crafted up for the crusher um, I might need the engineers manual to kind of figure this out it's not as simple as like the bottling machine over there it is a little bit more extensive so we're gonna need to look at heavy machinery crusher and we could also get a sawmill made up too but I'm I like immersive for like the visual aspect of like the windmills and stuff and the water generators um, but they take so much space up and we're on a sky block like we really could get into it but what's what's the sense so uh is there oh there's no way to all right so i th thought there used to be a, a way to do it so how big is it so five by three so we're gonna this won't be here forever one two three one two three four five perfect so we'll do that Let's get out the book. One, two, three, four, five, six. That, that, that. Uh, three, then three. So one, two, three. One, two, three. Perfect. But like I have played before with um, like doing everything manually. All right. So we have light red. 
light red with like using immersive like this this build to to actually like process all my ores and it is a fun setup but i i'd rather something more techy like the mechanism or the thermal and that's why we're building this just so we can get into um getting into thermal so boom 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 and perfect right on look at that isn't it pretty doesn't it look like a crusher how about now perfect is there a power in here oh we need to go over to this side um might have to make another pole uh lv let's grab some clay grab that come down here smelt throw this in cool perfect Actually, I don't want... There we go. So we want the... Um, the pole? Bad. One of these guys. Aluminum. Cool. And like that. Perfect. Eh, we might as well make a couple of them. We might need it. I don't think for long though. Three, four, five, perfect. And we will use uh, my hammer. Do that. Cool. All right. So what we'll do is I'll use some of the terracotta and put a relay up there. Use linking from that to that. See if that'll reach. I'm not quite sure. Ah, nope. Okay. Okay. Like so. And where is. Did I? Oh, it's right there. Perfect. Cool, so we'll go from there to there, there to there. And that's getting power, baby. Again, this is not staying around, at least I hope not. I do not like the big crusher. I don't like the sound it makes. Very picky about that. All right, so let's put a chest in front. And we'll grab the gravel and we'll try and get some flint. And you know what, we might as well make some more gravel and let's make gravel the other way like so might as well make the most of it while we're doing this because why not like that's cool but Got a flint, baby. Sweet. It's not. It's losing a little bit of power. Wow. I didn't realize that it was. Oh, need to go have a sleep. Oh, 
we got the two flint. I might have to make up a gravel miner just to give me a constant source of flint. But I do wish flint was a little bit more uh, on the open market. But yeah, all right. Oh. Still crushing through them. can use an induction smelter to get flint so maybe we'll work on that first all right so we got two flint out of that whole stack and a half all right so let's make um let's work on now let's go back to machine frame redstone flux and an induction smelter because we're going to use the induction smelter first so we actually do not need any flint right now that's kind of I did all that for nothing. <laughs> That's okay. I'm not too upset. All right, so we need a, a machine frame. So let's, do I have any electrum? How much electrum do I have? I got three. Okay, so let's take out some gold and some silver. They're slowly building up. And actually, what I might do, just for a quick second, is I might put in a flint uh, miner right there. Um, or a gravel, I mean. Just because I can. And, oh, I did, yeah, good job, Kev, good job. Good job, buddy. So we need tier four. Four. Tier 4 support frames. We do need a miner. I thought I had one extra. And a drawer. Like so. And we will also hook up a filtered link. So we can hook it up into the network. And we'll also take some cable. Perfect. I think that's everything. Oh, and the uh, uh, my structure builder, structure placer is what it's called. So we can get this kind of cruise. Oh, and uh, cool. Perfect. Thank you. And we'll place down a torch right there just to keep it lit. And boom. All right. So we're going to have to that tier three yeah we're gonna have to replace all that um, we might actually have to make some more oh so give me like that perfect yeah just so we have gravel coming in I was thinking about it I should have done that in between episodes just so it was ready to go, but it, it's okay. I'm not I'm not upset about that. Okay, perfect. So let's uh, put down I do like the miners. I think the miners are really, really neat. Cool, perfect. And we will grab the gravel. down one two I'll put the torches up there after so like that give that a priority and 
let's connect this in. Right on. Look at that. So now we have um, gravel coming in. So if we look at gravel, look at that, 35. I just put something away that I don't remember what it was. Uh, don't remember. Oh, wire cutters. I do have a pretty good memory when it comes to that kind of stuff. Cool, look at that. And so now we have gravel coming in as well. So yeah, pretty good, not too bad. So um, yeah, induction smelter. So we needed the Electrum, perfect. We need some machine frames. You know what? We might as well grab that 48. That'll make us 12 frames, which or 12 gears, which would make us uh, three machine frames. Perfect. There we go. Perfect. So yeah, this might become obsolete. Uh, we still might use it. I think it is one of these has to use it. Is it redstone? Maybe. Nope. Hmm. I'm. See, look at that. Look what the crusher can do for redstone. Like, it's crazy. Three ores for one, or one ore for six. Like, it's cr crazy. And same as the pulverizer. Like, ugh. So we got the electrum gears. We got some glass. Cool. All right. So where is that from? Oh, Elite Technium. Might as well take that tech buck. I only got seven right now. So let's throw that in. Oh, it made us 12. Oh, that's actually decent. Let's make some one, two, three. Cool. Might as well make some of those. We're getting some quests done for. Oh, we got another one. Cool. All right, we'll make an induction smelter. Throw that in there. That. What are we missing? So we are missing a blast furnace, which means we're missing a furnace. Might as well throw that in there. We're going to need it, honestly. So blast furnace. And we are missing two invar gears. So I think we have some extra invar in here. Cool. You know what? We might as well just... Is that gear in there? Yep. Might as well just make 16 invar gears. So yeah. I can't believe this is already episode 8. Like, I'm having a blast with this pack, besides the whole hiccup with automating the basic technium. But with thermal, we should be able to um, alleviate some of the pressure about that and alleviate most of the use of this bla of the jumbo furnace. Nice. Okay, so let's throw those in there. Actually, we probably could have just done this right on. So we have an induction smelter. So yeah. Magma crucible used to make liquid glass. Uh, this is all required for elite technium as well as crystals. Uh, yeah, we're not going to get there yet. What I'd like to really do is get um, our resources dealt with first, such as uh, basic technium and maybe even advanced technium if we can automate it with with uh thermal that would be mint so yeah um what i'm gonna do is uh, i need to place this guy somewhere so that i can get some power to it and not make it look all crazy and stuff all right how about right there cool and so we'll need some lv wire I think this stuff takes quite a bit of power. So we might have to uh might have to look into um something better. How about this? Uh no. Anyways, that might be an in-between the episode kind of thing. Getting this stuff 
insulate it or even put that there that to that perfect so this is going to start getting some power and the nice thing about that is throw that back in here now gravel makes flint so this is a win all right i don't care what anybody says look at that got some flint and some slag and the nice thing about thermal machines is that you can set up to have the input and output on like one side so if i put a chest there like that boom but usually i like having um the output on one side and the input on another because i think flint can go back in i think it probably already has no it hasn't all right so if we do output input move this over to here cool perfect so yeah so we're always gonna have we can always have some flint built up and yeah so what i might do is i might work towards um maybe hmm, let's see here i don't want I'm not, as I've said several times, I'm not great when it comes to infrastructure, architectural skills. I got none of that. I am, let's just put this here and let her run kind of guy. But what I'm thinking is, is if I can make this area for a, a lava and this one for lava, then I will make this, or maybe this one over here for resource production, or even put it in the middle. Actually, that might look better to have two magma or two lava generators and have my resources being made right here. And I'm talking about all of them, like, and use it to feed it back into that wall. We're also going to have to work towards getting some obsidian, which is, I believe, blast chiller. Oh, tier seven. A diamond? That is diamond. Obviously. Blast chiller, lava, makes obsidian. That's actually pretty neat. Um, let's go back to that tech buck before I forget. So, yeah, it does talk about the blast chiller, but these magmatic dynamos, like, yeah. So, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably take a quick little break in the recording. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the two, um, the two uh, magma lava crucible or lava generators with some magma crucibles. Actually, uh, hmm. Maybe we should work on magma crucibles first. Not magma crucibles, magmatic. There we go, perfect. So what do these guys need? These guys need some invert gears, some invert ingots, some redstone, and some flux. So what I should do is see if, oh, I need invert. Do I have any more in here? In here, um, some, okay. What I should do is let's say, let's try out four. So we have, we'll make four of them just to say we did it. Thank you. All right. So we should replace this whole platform with stone. I'll probably move this guy back onto the outside. Um, but, or we just put it right in the corner the frame actually we might be able to nah i like the idea of having this whole area right here we might have to move my elevator actually that's kind of a nuisance area hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. let's see one second 
I just want to check on something first. I don't want my recording to go too long. I'm usually pretty bad for uh, doing long recordings. One second. Uh, one, two, okay. How long has this one been so far? 21, so that's about 43 minutes. All right, well, you know what? What I'm going to do is actually before I end this episode, I am going to end this episode um, just for the sake of time. And in between episodes, what I'm going to do is get set up. You already see me make the magmatic dynamos. I'm going to set up a really, really good power source right here and over here we'll remove the crusher we don't need this it was a waste of my time i'll admit that i'll probably move the elevator and we're going to set up automatic ore production right here it will um i'll probably do them from i don't know yet maybe two two uh one two three and one two three into a drawer right here and here maybe um just to kind of keep it uniform and i kind of want to keep this as going as well but what i'm going to do right up right now is take away this and this ah oof that hurt and what we're going to do is do like that that is there something over here there is perfect like that go back up export into there and we're just gonna set that up for gravel oh what else I could do is actually make a drawer so this will always make uh, gravel and flint or flint and slag all right, let's put that into here. Perfect. Actually, what I not taking much time, so take that away. That perfect. So this will always get flint or gravel. Let's see if we can make some of these guys. One. Oh, cool. Let's iron plate. Cool. Let's erase that recipe. Like so. So we're always going to have flint coming in. And let's get one of our filtered link. This is kind of like early game of what might, what's going to take place. Something like this. So we'll have... Uh, Actually, we might have to eliminate this glass walkway. I could move the teleporter up one right to here, maybe. Um, just to have the resources coming in. So, yeah. And then, oh, wait. Before I connect this in, like so. Like that. Perfect. So now. Now, when we look up Flint, boom, we got some coming in. Pretty cool. All right, so we got automatic Flint from this guy. We're obviously going to get shocked if we come near that. Out. Nice. But, yeah, so uh, unfortunately, it doesn't feel like we got a lot done today. But we were able to make a crusher. We did get into thermal, and we actually even got into some gold and some silver production, too, if I can. Yeah, got some gold, silver, some electrum. So, yeah, unfortunately, it wasn't what we all wanted to get done. But in between episodes, I will work towards um, getting the lava generators up here, two of them, as well as some magmatic dynamos made up. 
um, give us a better power source. And I might even work towards getting like the pulverizers and or the ingredients ready for the pulverizers and the um, smelters. We could also actually we could also just look at doing um, maybe even just induction smelters. Does that even work with ores? Nickel makes you one. See, at least with pulverizers. Hmm. There's, I don't know. One to one. Even that's better. Kind of what I'm thinking. Aluminum, iron. Like, you're getting one iron, one nickel, and one rich slag. That might even be better than doing pulverizers because anything's better than what we have right now. Anyways, actually, I probably will do induction smelters and get it all set up. And then maybe in the future, we'll use pulverizers with the smelters to get like double or one and a half, whatever it is. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next episode and you all have a great day. Bye now.